Now where could it be? Uh, ah, shit! Son of a mother! Oh, hello. I don't know what's here. Ow, I hurt. Now it's the silly season. Christmas is coming up soon. And, well, due to the strikes happening with Royal Mail in England, um, my Christmas review, not happening this year, no, not at all, because what I've ordered for my Christmas review is still in England, and the posties are being complete tosses about it. Not ideal at all, not ideal, but, but I have come prepared. I am prepared for once. Those of you who watch this channel a lot will know I'm rarely ready for anything out of the blue. So, being ready for the posty strikes? Crap, that's a first. And I know my last video has not been since my trip to Mandible um, to see the old Rogers K class. I only, ironically enough, there's a picture right there on the wall. I'll show you the picture in there. What? Oh, right now. See what I mean? Now I gotta be careful with this camera stand. It's uh, exactly sturdy. Or so. It's a pain in the butt. But yeah. Damn, that hurt. Um, anyways, what's the review this time? Well, Despite Darpol getting a bad rap for quality control issues, um, I thought, screw it, take the plunge, and I got myself a mogul. Now, I gotta point out, I got this back in October, so, yeah. In all fairness, so to prevent any burnout, I've been taking a step back from recording, and mainly just yarning on Instagram, really. <laughs> I'll throw a link to my Instagram in the description below, but yeah, I've just been taking things a lot easier than I should have. Well, it's the silly season, been trying to reconnect with family and such, so can't blame me. Right, now let's get on with the locomotive. wonder if this old thing still works. No? Guess not. Um. Okay. We have the locomotive in question here. It's a beautiful looking box, I have to say. It's nice and big, sturdy. I think a lot of the companies these days are doing them. I'm Dapo obviously doing it. Hornby are doing it with their new 9Fs and A3s, I think. Um, Hellion, I think they've been doing it for a while. But let's get to the point. I bought this model for 328 New Zealand dollars. For those of you living in the UK, just divide that by two. As for the product number, let's have a look. 4S-43-0003. Yeah, I'm Irish on me, mom, so get over it. Um, It's a great 260 Mogul Green GWNBR Smoke Box Dub. I had no idea what the hell that means. Ooh, good sign. Box takes a while to get off. There we go. I like these good sturdy boxes. I love them. Nice bit of fun. It, this actually reminds me strongly of the Duffel range, the Duchess I got a while back. That was brilliant. An owner's manual. Huh. Last time I got an owner's manual with a uh, locomotive, it was the... Yeah, my J70 from Rapido. Wow. All right, history, specifics, even batch numbers. That's cool. Firebox flicker effect. Well, probably if you only buy the DCC version. I don't have that. This is a DC loco, so sorry, folks. Okay. I mean, the fact it's all. Oh wow. This is cool. Okay, so you get a wee tool, and it's used to get out the PV the PCB, and that's how you DCC the sucker. Oh, that's cool. And you got a wee spot for a sugar cube speaker too. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. And I love these CAD imagery pieces. I love that. It really it really is better than just a stinking, you know, black and white drawing that some companies use. I'm not naming names here. And they give you a spare parts list. Holy crap. Look at all that. 
Really? You get a replacement coal load? <laughs> Great Western Railway Loco Lamps Dummy Set of Six. That's quite cool. Um, <laughs> wow. That, uh, hmm. You can imagine my surprise on that one. I mean, that is fantastic. All right, put that aside. Let's get it. Ooh, that's a snip. That's a very snug fit. Wow. I haven't had a snug fitting uh, package like that since the uh, Duchess, I think. That is really snug. I had... Wow. All right, uh, put this aside. All right, here's the ice cube. And again, that's a snug fit. I mean, I got it so far, the quality's great. The packaging quality, fantastic. I cannot argue with it. It's br brilliant. Okay, I see what I meant about the smoke. No. No, there's a cab site number plates. Oh, sweet. In the detail pack, you get the ca etched cab site number plates. That's cool. The little uh, sugar cube speaker holder. And the wee tool to get the PCB and the smoke box off. Again, freaking brilliant. That's all right, I love that. I do like that. All right, let's open her up. Holy cow. Okay, just for clarification, ladies and gents, I did once have the old uh, Bachman slash mainline tooled mogul. I think I got an old video of that uh, on my channel somewhere. Uh, I can't remember. But... When it comes to quality, this is second to none. I mean, for the record, I mean, you, unlike some most of my locos I have these days, the tender and loco they're separate. How brilliant is that? Now, I mentioned the coal load coming out, so I'm just oh wow. And what I like is unlike. Freaking Hornby and Bartman. It's not a stupid, glossy, you know, really shiny hunk of plastic. It's a nice. It's actually quite lovely. That's. That's This is the actually the best fake coal I've seen come with a locomotive. Hands down, this is the best. Wow. And I'll just leave that there for now because we're just going to have a look at this tender here. It's beautiful. The rivets. I mean, I'm not a rivet counter or anything like that, but that's. It's good detail, the brake hangers, the axle boxes, the steps. Brilliant. Look underneath, you got a water scoop. Brilliant. The brake rigging, again, brilliant. Alright, the rear set spins the most. I guess that's due to the pickups in the tender, but that... That linkage for the NEM pocket, that is brilliant. Wow. Sprung buffers, thank hell for that. We got separately fitted lamp irons and brake pipe. Uh, so that's brilliant as well. I mean, so far, oh, here yeah, we go. Look at that, here's a handbrake. Oh, the little board to hold. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant, I like that. I don't, I can't remember what the name for this bit is though. I think that's like the gate, or I'll, call, I'll just call it a gate to prevent, you know, anyone walking onto the coal or anything like that. Because it's sure as hell not going to hold it back from falling on the footplate. Okay, let's look at the locomotive. And right off the bat, I think we got an issue. If we look at the front here in the smoke pipe, uh, the brake pipe here. What? The f that's bent to all hell and going hell knows where. What the? F Where's this going? I mean, okay, that's bent. Weird. Buffer is brilliant. The front of it alone, that is beautiful. I don't know if the camera's picking it up because I'm in the way of the focus, but that's beautiful. I mean, top of the boiler, again, that's beautiful. No seam lines. Well, actually, yeah, there is a seam line or two. Right along the top there, and right there. But it makes a difference from a central seam line you see on damn near any other locomotive. The whistle, brilliant. The glazing, impeccable. I thought it was real glass for a minute. And unlike a lot of locomotives you get, I mean, if I'm with my fingers out the way, 
you get some resemblance of the inside motion between the barrel and frames. I love that. That is detail. And I just noticed another bit of detail in the front. Just about, uh, I don't have anything to point with, but wait, hang on, yes I do. Drop it. Just about the, there. That's where the oil goes to feed for the, oh, that's brilliant. Okay, no copper cap on the safety valves, okay. But, which sucks, but I know mixed traffic loco, and I remember from when I did the 72XX review, I had one real nasty uh, beggar give me a bit of grief on that. Okay, the reversing rod not being painted in a proper metal color. Okay, I got a bit of grievance on that as well. Oh, the rods and the wheels though, that, they look beautiful. The fluting is lovely. The wheels, they're pristine, they're clean, they're brilliant. And the cap, holy mother of mercy, look at that cap! Look at that! And I think my doorstop just failed. Oh, well, I'll fix that after this shot. But look at that freaking detail. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So, how did he link up? I mean, it's definitely not like the old Hornby stuff. So, apparently you just push them together and they... That's it. They just clip together. That's cool. How did I... I've seen what happened to the V2s by Bartman, so it just, uh, oh, that's pretty neat. Okay, we'll get this on the track and see how it crawls. And before doing anything with that, I'm fixing that damn doorstop over there. If the freaking control works. Okay, we have the locomotive on the track ready for the cruel test and for a change i'm going to use a gauge master model w control i've no idea which way it's, the direction is going to work with this but uh one way to find out got it set f for forward and i'm just going to slowly apply power Is a stunning crawl. A little bit steppy, but if I just tweak the control a little, there we go. There's a nice wee crawl. Chuck it the other way and. There's a nice slow speed on it. I wish I had my rolling road to do this, but I left it at home. For a coreless motor, that's like it's got a core. But, I mean, it rolls nice and smooth at a reasonable speed. So I can't really argue with it. Okay. Let's get this hooked up to a train facing the right way and well, I'll just give her a quick blast on with the line because the crawling speed I find brilliant. I'm happy with it, I find it very adequate. So, let's get a hook to a train and see how well it does at speed, I guess. Well, here we are at the model club and we have the Dapol man uh, Mogul uh, here on the layout. It's a real beauty though, I really do love it, but. You know, with the detail things I pointed out earlier, it is what it is, but she's still a stunner. Now, just going to have a nice and cruisy coasting along, maybe with a few bits of rolling stock, some of which you will not 
not even expect. Let's get it going. Love that silent run. Mm, you're right, it is pretty much the generic reason, that one. But then you know you have, you have the right channel. I mean, if you're building a lad on a budget, mate, I mean, you do what you have to do, simple as that. And I can actually speak saying whatever the hell I want uh, in this video because I'm actually going to be doing narration.